Hi everyone, I'm here. They, them pronouns and gender neutral language, please. Um, saw something online and I just felt like this would be a good time to talk about this. So I don't know how often I'm gonna be doing these series uh, and I'm trying a new way to record. So let's hope that this goes well. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is um, a Miss Manners post that I had seen on the internet uh, probably about like last week or so. Um, and it has to do with a cisgender person wanting to know the etiquette around pronouns. Miss Manners is a syndicated column um, from the Washington Post. The author is uh, Judith Martin. She's like Miss Manners TM. And I looked up and she's 83 years old. So just off the bat, I know that this is gonna be a generational thing in addition to like changing social etiquette, the rules from way back when are just not gonna be the same as they are now. So um, I will go ahead and share the screen so that you can read along with me. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. Um, so says, Dear Miss Manners, I'm a 51 year old cisgender woman with a unique name that is easily and consistently confused with a male name. This has resulted in countless incidents from minor inconveniences to combative confrontations. I am a CEO and people usually get very uncomfortable when they realize that they have misgendered me. Uh, I have noticed that a lot of people have started to include their chosen pronouns in their email signature lines or other correspondence. I thought this might be an easy and painless way to announce my gender. However, I'm somewhat uncomfortable doing so. I feel like I'm using an important issue affecting many vulnerable people and co-opting it to solve my stupid personal issue. My questions are, I will add, one, how do I indicate my name and or gender in a way that is not obnoxious? and that will minimize incidents where people call me by the wrong name or wrong gender, either by email or in person. Two, is it morally acceptable for me to list my preferred pronouns in my email or signature lines? And if it's not going to be effective, should I even try? So much there. Okay, well, <laughs> let's look at the response first and then um, I will show you or talk through what I would recommend. So, okay. Ms. Manners' response is the simplest solution seems to Ms. Manners, which again is, oh my goodness, third person. I will, I will put my own biases aside for that one. The simplest solution seems to Ms. Manners to be to use Ms. or Mrs. in parentheses before your name in your correspondence. As for using or not using a separate pronoun line, Ms. Manners is in the etiquette, not the morals business. But she observes that the world is in a better place when people do the right thing for the wrong reasons than when they do the wrong thing for the right reasons. And that's it. Okay. Again, so much to unpack. Okay. I'm going to stop the share. Now you're just going to have to look at my face. So, whew. Okay. No. I wanna, let's just go into what I would recommend. I'm just gonna even ignore some of the digs in the responses because I feel like the response is incorrect. Uh, first and foremost, everyone should be having their pronouns in their signature line. It doesn't matter if you're cisgender, it doesn't matter if you're transgender, um, you should just have them in there. This is also very helpful for people whose uh, cultural context is different. Not everyone's going to know a certain name as quote unquote male, quote unquote female, um, if they're coming from a different cultural background. So it's just easier. Just go ahead and put your, your pronouns in your signature. That's not even a moral thing. That's just an easy communication thing. So you do not need to be transgender to have your pronouns in your signature, in your social media. If anything, I think it would make it even better for all of us to have it in there. Um, because right now the kind of the assumption and some of the nefarious things going on is that, oh, if your pronouns are in your bio, you're transgender. And since I don't like transgender people, i.e. transphobia, I'm going to purposely misgender you to hurt you and to like show you who's boss. It's like a power play, um, which obviously for cisgender people is very confusing because it's like, oh, what? It says she, her, why can you not just use she, her? So anyway, 
just put put your pronouns and stuff. It's really, it's not even a moral thing. It's just an easy communication thing. So I have a lot of empathy for the CEO who, um, whose name is maybe a gender neutral name or one that uh, can be any gender. Uh, I definitely have felt some type of ways sometimes when my my name is just thrown around all over weird places and it's just like just pronounce it correctly if you get it wrong i'll correct you just like try better next time but it can be a drain like on your energy to continue to do that so i get that that's fine that's fine um also the fact that people do get uncomfortable when they misgender other people yeah, it can be socially awkward. That can be, that can feel embarrassing. Um, again, that's, that their response is on them though. That's not on you. If someone's uncomfortable because they've misgendered you, like you don't have to be holding those feelings for them. So that's for everybody. Um, the letter says, I have noticed that a lot of people have started to include their chosen pronouns. No, pronouns, not chosen, not preferred pronouns. Okay. That's a sidebar for everybody. Um, and it is an easy and painless way to quote unquote announce your gender. Well, okay. Your pronouns are not your gender. So that's just, that's just not true. So I think that some people think that they are equating these tools of language with gender identity or with their sex like their biological sex and that's not true it's just like how do you want to be referred so it's it's a good way to announce how you'd like people to refer to you how about that we'll, we'll go with that okay and uh the ceo is uncomfortable doing so and i can i get okay like I feel like I'm using an important issue affecting many vulnerable people and co-opting it to solve my stupid personal issue. People calling you the correct name and the correct pronouns is not a stupid personal issue. I don't care what your gender identity is. It is basic human decency and respect to call people their names and to use correct terminology for them. That's just, that's just period. We live in a society. That's just what you need to be doing. Um, and I feel for this person who, who doesn't feel comfortable asking or even just demanding that basic level of respect because it is somehow associated with a community that some other people in society have issues towards. Um, so again, the CEO's questions are, how do I indicate my name and or gender in a way that is not obnoxious? Again, that's just such a weird thing to worry about. Um, don't worry about being obnoxious when you're communicating your needs. Just communicate your needs. Um, and that will minimize instances where people call me by the wrong name or wrong gender, either by email or in person. Even in the best of times with my name and my pronouns in my email signature. Yeah, it doesn't always go well. I would say it, it helps, especially people that you email often enough you can kind of like get into the pattern, like, hey, you're, they're seeing this. But as you know, when you respond on emails, eventually your signature gets hidden. Um, so I would say modeling is a little bit more important to make sure that the people around you are using the correct name and pronouns and to have, and almost like to deputize them to go and fix and correct. So if someone misgenders you when you're not there, they can just be like, oh yeah, actually Chris uses she, her pronouns or, you know, um, my CEO is a woman or like what, whatever. Um, so yes, you should put your pronouns in your bio, in your bios, you should put it in your social media, you should put it in your email signatures. That's just a yes. Um, second question is, is it morally acceptable for me to list my preferred pronouns? Again, your pronouns are your pronouns are not preferred or chosen or otherwise. Uh, everybody has pronouns. They just do just, you know, like everyone has DNA, everyone has pronouns. Like it just is. Um, is it more like acceptable for me to list my preferred pronouns in my email or signature lines? And if it's not going to be effective, should I even try? So again, 
this is it's not even I think that this CEO is a bit too worried and taking on too much um, blame and responsibility on other people's actions towards them. Um, should you tell people your name and how to pronounce it, even if they get it wrong? Yeah, because it's your name. I have a lot of empathy towards this person because it sounds very frustrating. Um, and their life seems like the way that they've been raised seems very restrictive and what they can and can't do, even when it's something that can help themselves. So that is a bummer. Um, yes, it is morally acceptable for you to list your pronouns in your email. There's, there's nothing moral or immoral about the words that you're using, the, you know, the parts of speech that are accurate for you. Now, if this person had like it, it's as their pronouns, I could understand someone saying morally they can't uh, ascribe to that because they were taught that never use it for a human. That's like the one argument I can be like, okay, I can understand why you would make that argument. But regardless, if a person says my pronouns are it, it's, then that's the pronouns you need to be using for that person. That just is, but regardless of how I feel about it or them, right? It meaning the topic and also the person. Um, but yeah, I understand it. Like, should I even try if it's not going to be effective? Like that's a lot of hurt that this person is in a lot of hurt um, over just not being seen. And that sucks for everybody. So I highly disagree with Miss Manners here. Um, Wow. I also don't understand the using Ms. or Mrs. in parentheses before your name and your correspondence. Most of the time when I see that, for me, that's my junk mail. So like, <laughs> generationally, this is just, again, Miss Manners is 83 years old. I am 32. We are just not on the same page here with the honorifics. Um, and I think too, in the business setting, I cannot think of a single time I've seen a Ms. or Mr. or a Mrs. in a signature line of a professional email. And since this is the CEO, I am assuming that the vast majority of the communication here, we're talking about emails, um, and even presentation decks. Like I'm thinking of all of the presentation decks that I've seen and I've had to endure, as we all know, with some of these meetings that are not necessary. Uh, I have I'm like, no one is using Mr. No one is using Ms. No one is using Mrs. Like your, your marriage, like that doesn't like matter in the business world. So this seems very out of touch for me, just, just from that perspective alone. If you're wanting, and who else is doing paper correspondence? Like who's doing mail? Again, it's mostly junk or emails, like uh, email lists might have an honorific section. And we, that's just a whole other video for me <laughs> to talk about how I just like don't engage with honorifics because I on a uh, personal ethical level, it's, it's like cast, and social status difference that I don't ascribe to. So like for me is convenient. I mean, there's mix, there's MX, uh, which is a gender neutral or just the letter M. So like if you needed to, but the thing is most of these systems do not have that in the dropdown menu. And again, very rarely are people actually using these honorifics anymore just in day-to-day -day life, so. Oh, and yeah, so the rest of this response, I'm just gonna write off as a generational difference um, that I just disagree with. But I do agree with doing the right thing for the wrong reasons rather than the wrong thing for the right reasons. I guess I'm just mean the right, wrong thing again, different video, different, <laughs> different philosophical thought. 
Oh my gosh, my age under self is just not with it today on this. Okay, so again, this is found on the Washington Post. I'll link below the actual article if you wanted to engage with it further or share it. Um, in in modern in these modern times, just use the name and the pronouns and the words that people would like you to use for them. That is the proper social etiquette. And then there's nothing, there's nothing moral about it. That's, that's it is treat a human being like a human being. So yeah, uh, if you find more of these that you want me to react to or offer my opinion, I might do a couple more of these just because my perspective is just very different being a gender. So, um, Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you wanna see more of these. And I'm really curious, what do you think? Comment below, let me know, do you use honorifics? Are you using honorifics? Or do you put your pronouns in your in your bio, in your email signature? Does your company even allow you to? Like that's again, just whole other, whole other can of worms. So I'll leave it here. And until next time, everyone, have a lovely day, night, evening, existence. I'll see you around.